Hi there folks, if you are a fan of the royal family or you've been watching The Crown, this one's for you. I went over to Windsor and spent some time there having a look around. I really hope that you're liking the videos. If you are, like, comment, subscribe. We'll do some more. Probably the next place I'm going to go is Oxford. With that, let's jump over onto this video that I took and it starts with me riding through the Great Park on my bike before we take a look around Windsor. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Now before you ask, this is speeded up. So I think this is going at four times as fast. And this is the Great Park. So it's a beautiful road that comes up from Sunningdale, Ascot, effectively the south, and takes you all, all the way through this huge old hunting park. Now, if you don't know where you are, Windsor is out to the west of London, outside the M25. It used to be out in the country back in the day. But now, as you can see, it's actually pretty close to Heathrow Airport and it's just south of Slough. Now, if you don't know anything about Slough, the UK version of The Office was set in Slough. The US one was set in Scranton. Scranton's actually all right. I've been to Scranton. This is the that road that continues into Windsor and I just sped it up as it goes through. And this is kind of the start of Windsor for me. Um, some nice houses here. On the right hand side is the Long Walk and you'll see it at the end of this video where I talk about it but that big long plain of trees there. Friends of mine used to live in one of those houses along there. That building in the middle distance there, this one, that's the army barracks and that's where when they have the changing of the guard the squaddies leave from there, come up here and then go around that high street. And now you're coming into Windsor itself. And so I've slowed it down just to normal speed. Now, if you want to head out to the long walk, you'd take a right there. But this is the high street. And on the right hand side, you've got the castle. And on the left hand side, you've got shops. And it's a little bit don't buy the t-shirt so there's no shortage of places to get tasteless mugs with the royal family on now behind this parade of shops on the left hand side there's also some good normal high street retail and i've got some pictures of that um i do some my piece to camera just past this crossing here so the main entrance is up there by queen victoria there and i do my piece to camera up there but what i wanted to do is show you how easy it is to get to the main part of Windsor if you come in on the train. So if you think about, you know, this is the castle here. I then go down here, it turns into one way. Look, there's a McDonald's here and there's a Weatherspoons and there's a Nando's and no end of places to buy your key rings. The theatre is just down that little road there, but I'll show you anyway. Now, if you come in in a car, there's no shortage of places to park. Look, car parks to the left, car parks to the right. And the river, the River Thames, is 400 yards in front of me there, where that Mercedes is going off to. I used to work in Windsor in 2000 and... can't remember, 2001? Could even been before that, and it's not it's not really changed a lot. Changed a lot. Okay, so if you were coming from London, the train station is just up here on the left hand side, past these parked cars, Windsor and Eton Riverside. And the reason it says Windsor and Eton Riverside is that the River Thames is just at the bottom of this street by that white van there. So I turned around and came back up. So you'd walk out of the train station, da -da, there's the castle. And so then it's just a case of going back up to where I was before. Stuck in the traffic here. This was Six o'clock, seven o'clock on the 6th of September 2021. Weather was really nice. 
really nice. It was in the mid 20s, which compared to some of the temperatures I was doing in Spain was absolutely nothing. So as you go around this corner, that's the castle in front of you. And the castle's huge. It's, you know, it's not a teeny tiny thing. It's, it's massive. And the theatre is just on the right hand side. Who's on at the theatre? Sir Ian McKellen in Hamlet. See that duck there on the left hand side? You can get river trips there. I think I stop here. So I've just ridden in through the Great Park. That's a 5,000 acre big old hunting park. Really nice way to come to Windsor. Uh, that's definitely the best way to approach Windsor. But if you're staying up in London, the way that you come to Windsor is catch a train from Waterloo to Windsor and Eaton Riverside. And I think you'll see that on the riding that I did. Windsor and Eaton Riverside is literally five minutes kind of down the hill um, from where I'm standing now. Very, very easy walk to do. The train takes an hour to get in from London, not because it's a particularly long way, it's just that the train stops at lots of little places just on the way to get to Windsor. So that's definitely the first thing that I would do. Second thing that I would do is take a look online and um, make sure that the changing of the guard ceremony is on. That happens on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Sometimes it gets called off for bad weather, but normally it goes on. There's a little bit of pomp and circumstance. There'll be a band playing, that kind of thing. Good to see. And the, uh, the new guard comes up from the uh, barracks. And again, I'll show you that on the voiceover. Comes up the high street and they change over. Very nice to do. Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday and you need to get here about an hour before because it does fill up okay it does fill up the other thing that I would do is if you're traveling as a couple husband and wife Sunningdale where the golf course is is 20 minutes from here so if you want to split up and one of you takes the kids or one of you does the history and somebody else wants to go and play golf that's another thing that you can think about doing I'd also recommend that you um, take a boat trip along the Thames because when this was all being built, you know, 1700s was the major expansion point. Um, the way to get to Windsor was by the boat coming up and we can only be 20 miles, 30 miles from central London. And so if you take a boat trip from here, just down by the green, that's a nice way to um, see um, the castle. And then probably finally, the thing that I would recommend that you do is, um, Go over to the other side of the castle and take a look at the long walk now if you've watched the crown or any kind of movie about the royal family they always have a big long aerial shot that comes in up the long walk and it has that kind of majestic view at it and uh, in fact we'll go around and take a look around the corner in a minute cheers that's it i've not been shot or abducted or thrown in the tower for treason Ooh, warm one today. so i was just by that pub sign there when i was doing that piece to camera can you remember when I was in Toledo and there was all those shops with knives and uh, swords? Windsor is like that with mugs with pictures of the royal family on. You can get, it's a completely saturated market. If you want anything at all with a picture of the Queen on, I'm sure you can get it in, in Windsor. But on the other side of the road, there's really good shops. High street shops, upmarket shops, and there's good theatre there as well. Um, so Ian McKellen was in Hamlet. Who wouldn't go, want to go and see Sir Ian McKellen in Hamlet? I saw Sir Ian McKellen in Panto, but a different story. So this is the castle end of the Long Walk. Two and a half miles from here, down to the Copper Horse down there, which I think is a uh, equine statue of uh, George III. It's a really nice run or walk, so you can see lots of people kind of do this. Um, 10k effectively there and back um, I do it sometimes with uh, my buddy we smoke a cigar walk down to the road and then walk back up again this is the shot that you see coming the other way up on the crown okay so let me just scoot this off here it's just attached to the fence at the moment so the view that you see is this one comes up and then you um, before you know it you're at the this side of the castle which is the west side of the castle and the private apartments that the Queen uses are behind that hedge there but as you can see you're under the flight path which is not you know if you're selling it you wouldn't mention that you're under the flight path now down at that end 
is Snow Hill and from there you get a surprisingly good view over West London. So if you do come and you know you spend the night or something like that, this is a nice perambulation to do. Um, let me think, it is September the 6th I think now, really gorgeous weather that we're having and it's a nice walk down um, or run down. You can just see the sun's just starting to glint over there. That's the east over there. So yeah, so that's Windsor. Very, very nice. Always lots to see and do in Windsor.